Oh. Hello everybody, this is Midwest Washing Equipment and this is going to be a quick video on how to winterize a uh, Hydro Mixer XL, uh, also a gas powered uh, soft wash pump. Uh, what we have here is our Hydro Mixer XL with two soap valves uh, hooked up to a, an AR45. Uh, this is our Tsunami rig. So there's a couple ways you can winterize uh, these rigs. Uh, this first way we're going to do is is without running the machine and if you have an air compressor that's uh, going to be the best way to do it. Um, once you've ran the machine and emptied all your tanks, your bleach and water and soap as much as you possibly can, you take your, uh, take your air compressor with an air chuck on it, you can unscrew each of these union caps or collars and you're going to shoot air, push the air, push the water back into the water tank and once you've got the water back into the water tank you can hook it back up right there you can do the same on the bleach line uh, you can also do this if you have a remote rinse module you'll just run it in the off mode which will push the water back into the water tank and then run it in the on mode which will push any bleach left in the lines back into the bleach tank so once you've cleared these two lines you can come over here to the pump and you'll disconnect the outlet which is right here and you can push air through it this will clean out your hose your spray hose and there'll be quite a bit of water in it so put your air check in there once you got all the air out or water out leave that disconnected. If you have a fill hose, you can do the same with your fill hose. Push all that, any of that water in the fill hose back into the water tank. <clears throat> Once you've cleared all of your lines to winterize the pump, disconnect the inlet Lay this hose down so if there's any water in there, it'll run out. And you can take your RV winterizer. You can also use windshield washer fluid. And you're going to pour it right in here until it's full. And then you'll pull your pull cord slightly. And it's going to pull that winterizer into the pump. Keep doing that until it won't take anymore. And you'll have winterizer come out of your outlet right here. And that way you'll ensure you've got all the water out of the pump. And it's been replaced with, with winterizer. Once you have it coming out the outlet, then you'll push it into bypass, disconnect your bypass line, and then again, pull, until it comes out of the bypass. And first it's going to be water, and then we've got pink fluid, so that ensures the regulator on loader is winterized as well. Then when you're finished, open up all your valves. Do not disconnect these in case you have some little bit of water in there. When the water freezes, it gives it somewhere to go. And then open all your valves on the hydro mixer. And that's the quick, easy way to winterize. If you have an uh, air compressor, pull out all your lines. Well, back any liquid back into the tanks. It'll just be a little bit of liquid in the bottom of the tanks. So that won't hurt anything. If you want, you can put a little bit of winterizer inside the tanks themselves for a little added extra precaution. And then store the unit away for the next season. Thanks for watching.